are more classes. With most of the businesses started by young people failing across the country, exports and business, when that unless the young entrepreneurs stop living lifestyles beyond their means, their businesses will continue struggling. If you want to be wise, there is no way you can be wise without struggles. If you want to grow rich, how will you grow rich if you are not wise? A billions of shilling, shillings or dollars given to a fool, he will... I mean, within a six months, you will see he, he has spoiled everything. But somebody who is wise, he is creative, he has wisdom, and he knows how to utilize his resources within his means. Trust me, even you take everything away from him, he will still grow. Despite the challenges associated with a number of businesses, entrepreneurs say it takes commitment, patience and perseverance for a business to become successful. And you don't need to be bragging around that I have money, I'm going to start that business. First, cool down and do research and find out what are the loopholes in that business. Success is satisfaction. If I'm satisfied with what I have, then I'm successful. But if, even if God gives me billions of dollars and I'm not satisfied, then I'm, I, I, I'm still at failure stage. These are also advised to always engage successful business persons for guidance in terms of business management. Somebody does enough research, talks to people, maybe location, strategic locations, talks to the owners of those shopping malls and supermarkets, puts his machine there, even if he's getting an average 20,000 shillings from that machine per day and you have used your 20 million to put 30 machines 20 times 30 that is 600,000 This was during an engagement in Nigeria of car drivers and owners who drive cars on loan but have since seen life change Elijah Triogmanawi Alan Mwesigwa NBS